Are you looking for ways to look elegant, stylish, chic, and sophisticated? Then you're not going to want to miss today's video because I'm sharing seven tips that will help you do just that and they don't cost a penny. It's all coming up next at Style at a Certain Age. Hi ladies, it's Beth. Thanks so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time visiting, a very warm welcome. Hit the subscription box down below and the notification bell so you don't miss any videos coming your way. This channel is dedicated to aging with grace, strength, and beauty. So like, share, and comment so the YouTube algorithm is happy and more women just like you who want to stay modern, fresh, and relevant will discover the content. But let's get into that video. So there are seven tips I'm going to share today that all elegantly chic and sophisticated women incorporate into their daily routine. And the first one is they make certain that their overall outfit is in good working order. And what do I mean by that? Well, that means that we don't want to have any wrinkles unless it's linen and you're supposed to be all wrinkly. That also means that your sweaters shouldn't have any pills on them and that your shoes shouldn't have any scuffs on them. And they're all remedies, very, very easy remedies for each of these areas. So for wrinkles, you can either use a steamer. I have a beautiful steamer that's in my closet and I just give my outfits a quick once over. It's so much easier than hauling out my uh, ironing board and my iron. You can also incorporate downy wrinkle release that's available at Target, Walmart, lots of different stores. Or I have a homemade remedy where I just have a concoction of vinegar and water and I have other videos where I share that with you and I'll link that up above where you just spray it on your outfit and then voila, your wrinkles disappear. We also don't want our sweaters to have pills on them. And yes, I know our luxury items, the beautiful cashmere shouldn't have pills. And that's sometimes the case and that's sometimes not the case. So either way, I just have a little machine. It's a little pilling machine. It's available on Amazon or I'm sure you can pick it up at Target. And I just give my sweaters a little once over. And I especially do this when I pull them out for the season. So I just make sure that every sweater is in tip top shape. And if there's any pilling, I just take my little machine and I just lightly give my sweater a once over and there you go. It really solves that problem of pills. And we can't forget our shoes. And sometimes this is an area where, you know, we're rushing out the door, we're dashing out, and we're not paying attention to what the heels of our shoes look like or if there are any scuffs. So I recommend taking your shoes to a cobbler if they are in need of repair. And sometimes that means your heels. They have little rubber uh, tips that they can put on your heels to really help the lifespan of them. And they can also give a nice polish. You can also polish your shoes at home. There's many, many kits out there where you just, you know, they have the brush and you have the polish and you, you know, you put the polish on and then you just buff, buff, buff and you have beautiful shoes. Or you can take it to a shoe stand and have them do it professionally for you. So there are also many choices for you to have beautiful looking shoes that will honestly last for years and years. So before we head out the door, you just want to make sure that you give your entire outfit one more glance over and make sure no wrinkles, no pilling, and no scuffs on your shoe. So tip number two is we take care of our complexion. Yes, I know women of a certain age, we have wrinkles. I consider them badges of honor. I've earned every one. So I'm not talking about wrinkles. What I'm talking about is the vibrancy of your skin, the brightness of your skin and taking care of it. And I religiously incorporate a skincare routine, both morning and night. So in the morning time, I use a cleanser. I use vitamin C, which is a big game changer, really brightens up my face. Then I come along and I'll put a serum on and then I finish it off with a moisturizer. In the evening, I pretty much do the reverse, except I have a special makeup remover that I put on first. Then I use a cleanser. I don't necessarily put a vitamin C or moisturizer on at night because I have a wonderful retinol serum that I use that was also a very big game changer. But there are so many skincare products available these days and so many breakthroughs in technology. 
So you don't have to worry that there isn't a skincare product that's going to fit into your budget. So whether you go to the drugstore or whether you go very, very high end, the products are really up to you. The names of the ingredients that I look for are peptides. I like hyaluronic acid and as I mentioned, vitamin C. Those are really big game changers. So whatever your price point, look for those ingredients in the different skincare products. And the third tip that effortlessly sophisticated and very chic women incorporate into their wardrobe is they pay attention to their manicures and their pedicures. And I've talked about this before, and it's very, very important to have well-kept nails. Hands are honestly one of the first things that you are going to notice about someone. Perhaps not your feet, because especially in the wintertime, you can hide them behind closed-toed shoes. But in the summertime, hello, they are there, out there for everybody. So you definitely want to make sure that you have your hands and your feet well manicured. I love to go off to the nail salon every two weeks. It's really kind of some me time. And they just primp and pamper me, and then I come away with beautiful looking nails. But if that isn't in your budget, you certainly can manage your nail care at home. And I have a beautiful set that I use and I, you know, I have to upkeep my nails in between salon visits. So you want to keep your nails clean. You want to keep them filed. And honestly, you want to keep them on the short side if you're looking to be elegantly sophisticated and chic. Polish is a whole other ball game and there are many, many colors out there. You can go funky. You can go, you know, with the very popular colors. I've sported blue this year and I love red. So bright colors are honestly not out of question. But if you truly are looking for a very elegant and sophisticated look, you want to go with the paler colors. It, there's just something about it that is just very chic, very subtle, and very elegant. So the fourth tip that elegantly chic and sophisticated women incorporate is they pay attention to their closet. It is not stuffed to the gills with, you know, items that they've purchased and no longer want. Their wardrobes work for them and they know where certain items are located so they can easily get them and incorporate that into an outfit. I have many blog posts written about cleansing your closet or I call it a closet purge. So if you're interested in tips on exactly how to do that, I'll link a video up above and I'll also put some blog posts down below that will take you through step by step. But it's very important to have your closet organized, clean, and purged of all of the items that you no longer want or no longer need. There is nothing more frustrating than walking into a chaotic closet and having, you know, piles of clothes bunched over here and you don't even know what's over there and it's just a, a, a mishmash. It really does make it very, very challenging to put yourself together day in and day out. So don't forget to incorporate a closet cleanse at least twice a year. And the next tip to incorporate into your life to be elegantly chic and sophisticated is your posture. And yes, we all know, we've seen the movies, you know, where in the old days they would walk around with books on their head because that would immediately bring them up tall and straight. So our posture is so important because we really want to have that elongated body. Cause you know, when we're hunched over like this, honestly, there's just nothing more <laughs> distracting than that, in my opinion. And it also just visibly adds pounds and none of us want that. So my suggestion is, and I incorporate this a few times into my uh, working day, is some simple exercises. Because as we know, in society, we are hunched over computers, we're hunched over our phones, and more and more and more, we're just getting like this. So here's a really quick exercise that will make you be mindful of your posture and just kind of you know put you back into place. So you just start out and you do a big Y, you hold that here, 10 seconds, then you bring it down into a W, and then hold that for 10 seconds. You're going to bring it into a T, again, 10 seconds, and then you're gonna bring it back in into your waist for another 10 seconds. So if you do that two to three times throughout the day, you are going to really be very mindful of what your posture is, 
and really just try to put your shoulders back, stand up tall and straight, and bring your head up. Posture, so important. Another tip to look elegantly chic, stylish, and sophisticated is create a style uniform. Yes, this is your signature look. This is the look that will identify you and also help you put together at a moment's notice so that you can step out the door in confidence. I lovingly refer to my style uniform as the four Bs. So that's a blazer, a button down, blue jeans, and ballet flats. Although I tweak it from time to time because if I'm going out for the evening, perhaps I wanna put a silk blouse on instead of a button down, or I'll exchange the ballet flats for heels. So whatever you want to incorporate as your style uniform, think of what is indigenous to you, have that as your style uniform, have that as your go-to, especially when you're short on time, but that outfit that everybody is gonna look at and say, yeah, that looks like her. Next tip is so easy, and that is have a monochromatic outfit on hand, as well as a style uniform. And yes, it could even be your style uniform, but it's going to be all in one color. There is something so effortlessly chic and beautiful and sophisticated about a monochrome outfit. And that's because it's very easy on the eyes. You start at the head, you go to the bottom, back up, your eye just travels easily up and down. So whether it's white, whether it's black, whether it's gray, whether it's red, a monochromatic outfit will serve you well and always having you walk out the door looking uber chic. And my last tip is to incorporate a luxe fragrance into your wardrobe. No outfit is complete without a signature scent. So apply it liberally on your skin, never your clothes, never your hair, and don't forget the pulse points. And that is right here behind your earlobe, on your wrists, and it could even be in the crook of your elbow too. A beautiful scent is really going to be your Icing on the cake, it honestly is more important than accessories because when you find a fragrance you love, I guarantee other people are going to love it just as much. Well, I hope you discovered at least one tip to incorporate into your life to help you look effortlessly chic and impossibly elegant. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.